Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 35, Gordon's Bad Luck. It was a great evening on Sodor, and Gordon was at the shed with Douglas and Henry. Are you doing anything today, said Henry. Not that much, said Gordon. I had to do a lot of stuff, said Douglas. What? said Gordon. I had to shunt in the yard. That's not that hard, said Henry. Yes, it was, said Douglas. It, there was, like, a lot of trouble from trucks. Wow, said Gordon. That is not good. Soon. Soon, Edward arrived. Soon, Edward arrived. Hello. Said Edward. Hello. Said the engines. Isn't Sir Tuppen Hat supposed to be here? I think so. Said the engines at the shed. Surely enough, Sir Tuppen Hat came in his car. Edward, you are to work at the docks. Said Sir Tuppen Hat. And Gordon, well, you are going to pull a little passenger train. What? Said Gordon. Er. So Gordon, in his mind, if you're having bad luck, Henry whispered to Gordon. Gordon was very cross, so he decided to just huff away quick as he could. Meanwhile, Edward was at the docks, shunting trucks. I don't like this at all. Said Edward. Gordon was going to get his train, and he saw James. James, what are you doing here? Um, I'm on a siding. Your siding? Yep, it's mine. Said James. This cannot be your sighting, said Gordon. This is the docks. Or, I don't know, whatever it is. My sighting, mine! Sheesh, sheesh, said Gordon. Man, I'm having a lot of bad luck, he said. And huffed away. Will I come at it closer, said Gordon? I think so, said the driver. All you are is just all. What's happened is that you had a lot of bad luck. Quiet, said Gordon, and coupled up to the train and helped away. Phew, said Gordon. This is a long, this is, well, kind of short train, he said. Gordon hopped onto the bridge. Phew, said Gordon. This is a very strong bridge. Yes, it is, said, said Gordon's driver. It's the strongest bridge in the world. Uh-oh, said the driver. What is it? Said Gordon. Look. Up ahead... was a sign. What does that mean? said Gordon. I think it means continue. I think that means go along the way, said Gordon. Can't be. Anyway, Gordon just huffed away. The driver removed it. Sign and they huffed along the line. Okay. Trouble soon came. The bridge was old and made Gordon go fast, but he tried to slow down and he did. Phew, said Gordon. The end of the track was horrible. 
So he backed up. He spun around on the turntable and left. Ooh, and he said, this is bad luck. So Gordon, but there was trouble. The signal turned red. Ow! So Gordon, that really hurt. You should have been watch where you're going. So Gordon, so Gordon's driver. Oh, be quiet. So Gordon. Meanwhile, at the docks, Edward was still shunting. How long would this ever take? He said. James was still in a sighting, waiting for people to ask, but not some so far. Which meant he didn't have enough time to spend in that sighting. Soon the signal turned green and hit Gordon. Ow! said Gordon. Err, he said, as he went over to crossing. I think I should just turn around. Said Gordon. Oh, no, you're not, said the driver. Bah, bother, said Gordon. I hate doing this. Indeed, he did. So he wouldn't be late. Gordon was soon coming along the line. I'm almost there, so Gordon, I just need to get to the yard. Well, Gordon was supposed to drop off the passengers here, but he didn't notice. And the door slammed open, but, and the passengers walked out, but Gordon thundered, and the passengers fell right out. Ow, they said. Gordon was almost back to the yard. Walked under the bridge into a large tunnel and soon come back to the yard. Phew, he said, and left the coaches and huffed back to Tidmouth Sheds. When Gordon came to Tidmouth Sheds, he hit the back of the shed. Ow, said Gordon. Maybe I am having bad luck, but he said it in his mind.